State Senator Sylvia Garcia wasted no time in announcing her candidacy for the 29th District after Congressman Gene Green announced he'd retire. Senator Garcia is here to talk about that decision. Thank you for being here. We appreciate you doing this. Well, thanks for inviting me. When did you make the decision that this is something you wanted to do? Well, as you'll recall, I was in this race. I was in that race with Gene Green and others back in 92, and it's always been in the back of my mind. Uh, so when I heard the, the words uttered by Gene Green that he decided to retire, and it was something that I wasn't expected, and, and just before I go further, you know, he's done such a great job. We must thank him and his wife, Helen, and all their children for all the time that they have given to not only the district, but also to the entire, you know, Houston region and our state. He's done a marvelous job. So when I f heard him say the words, I thought, oh my God, this is real. So I went home that evening and just started thinking about it, made some calls, people called, and we, you know, I visited with, with folks and, and uh, told my family and um, made the decision that, that I wanted to run. It was nice, uh, Congressman Green in, in indicated to me that he pulled a lot of you together he did. who might potentially want to run, and that's kind of says something about his character, it doesn't. Well, and that's why so many of us are just thankful for his service and, and the way he handled his the office and and the, 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 the way that he was always there for all of us and, and responded to constituents and did so much work in, in providing uh, workshops for citizenship, uh, immunization uh, uh, clinics, mm -hmm. uh, just backpack giveaways. I mean, you name it, Gene Green was always there. So he has set an example, if you will, of how to take care of business back home while still fighting the good fight in Washington. He doesn't forget back home. And, 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 and he grew up, and he, he, you know, he went to high school in the area where I live, so he's got a lot of strong roots everywhere. So I think that's what people really respect and admire the most about Gene Green. And I'm gonna ask you more about what your anticipation is on what you'll be able to do in Washington for your potential constituents, but there are other people who are gonna be running. How are you planning on distinguishing yourself from the other who will be running for this position. Right, so far there's been three of us filed, myself and, and um, uh, someone who ran before uh, last time against Gene Green, or, uh, and then someone else, um, who, I forget the fellow's name right now. So there's been two, but not well-known candidates as of today. Uh, those that are considered more well-known have, have announced that they're considering it or that they will file. Uh, so we'll wait and see. Uh, but I think uh, I'm running on my record, I'm running on my experience. And of course, running as someone who not only is there to take a vote, but is there to take the leadership role in some of the issues that are really important to our district, like good jobs, health care, uh, good education for our children, immigration reform, and just dignity and respect for every individual, because justice means a lot to our district. We, we want to make sure that we're treated fairly and that we get a slice of the American dream. What kind of experience do you have up to this point that will position you in a place where you can actually do the things that you just talked about? And, and it's different uh, how you might be able to do it in Washington, D.C. as opposed to right. in the state circles. Well, the realities are this, you know, we're, we're still the minority party, whether it's in Austin or Washington. Uh, so I will go uh, from being a minority in, in the, the Texas Senate, where I worked real hard and, and you know, my voice was, was my strength, mm -hmm. uh, because obviously we were always in the minority in terms of votes, uh, but you gotta be more than a vote, about the, being a voice for those that, that, that need help, whether they're the elderly, whether they're uh, medically frail children, whether it's Im immigrants, whether it's you know women and their fight for reproductive rights. I mean, it's, it's being there as a voice. I think this gives me an opportunity to have a stronger platform in a, in a different role in terms of my voice in Washington, particularly in those same areas. Uh, but with what's happening in the, um, the uh, national uh, voting, I think that next time uh, there will be a majority, uh, uh, we will be the majority as Democrats. You're feeling optimistic about that, huh? So I, you know, I will go from being in the minority in the Senate to the majority in, in, in the House of, uh, in Congress. So I think that's a, it's a good rule, uh, a bigger platform, uh, in a way to continue the, the work of, of uh, many years. What polling uh, have you seen that indicates that that's going to tip, that that's going to go back to the Democrats? Well, it's, you know, well, no, I, th I think if we see some of the trends in some of the elections, whether it's Virginia and others, where we've picked up some seats, and I think it's, 
you know, it's predicted that, that we will be able to, to take the majority. Uh, so we'll just work hard, of course, for us. You know, we're, it's a, it's a Democratic district. You know, our district will not be a pickup. But the pickup will be is having someone who's going to be a champion on the sure. issues that our district cares about. I talked with uh, Congressman Green about the partisan divide in Washington where it's just so, the rancor is just so right. evident. Um, how do you expect that you'll fit into that as you move forward in terms well, of changing yeah, well, that that's environment? That's no different than what we have in, in, in um, the Texas legislature. I mean, it was so divisive. Uh, some of the legislation that, that was introduced and some of what happened this last time with the bathroom bill, sanctuary cities, uh, the fight against reproductive rights, I mean, uh, the fight against unions to the juice checkoff pay, I mean, all that was divisive. You know, I don't think that that's going to be a different. In fact, I've often said, and I think I said it in your show last time I was with you, Austin is looking more like Washington every day. I mean, look at the number of people, even in the House, that have decided not to run our Texas House, mm -hmm. beginning with a speaker. I mean, he's not he's not leaving because everything is just hunky dory, and we're all working together, and we're working on education, healthcare, jobs, and and, and, and building Texas economy. No, we're distracted with the bathroom bill and uh, anti-immigrant bills, anti-woman bills. I mean, it's it's we're not doing the people's work. So you're looking forward to it. Your campaign off and running, would you say? Oh, absolutely. We, we've uh, hit the ground running. We've got lots of endorsements from uh, a lot of uh, elected officials and, and labor leaders from, from uh, uh, you know, precinct judges, from teachers, from, you know, I'm getting emails and calls and, and uh, uh, every day. So our, our campaign is building. We've got a campaign structure already put together. I've already been out there raising money and things are looking very good. Well, you know that uh, I'm all about fairness, so those folks who are running against you will have Absolutely. an opportunity to come on this show, and hopefully we'll have you on with one or two I'm of ready. them at some point. Remember, I'm That'll ready. Eng English or Spanish. Okay, okay, good, good. We'll leave the boxing gloves at home, but all right. uh, we'll have you come and do that. All right. State Senator, thank you, thank you so thank much you for so coming much. in. Absolutely. Good luck as you move forward. Thank you. State Senator Sylvia Garcia, and of course, uh, we will continue to have more information in the weeks and months to come.